All right, so turn towards the back to our drawing. So yesterday, we talked about protists and their characteristics. We also talked about the different types of protists. Remember, they're put into different groups based on how they move. And then we talked about some details about paramecium, euglena, and amoeba. So what we're going to do today is basically just um, review what these look like and what parts are important for you to know about. But first, which protist is this? What protist am I showing you up here? Abby. Yes, that is an amoeba. So this is an amoeba. You can always recognize amoeba because it's this weird blobby shape. Okay. Um, so it has a few different parts here. There's not a whole lot that you need to um, be too familiar with. What do you think A is? There's this little thing in there. Huh? It's the food vacuole. That's a food vacuole, correct. Yeah, and that's somewhere probably where the amoeba had engulfed something. It's now been broken down and digested, but the vacuole is still there. What do you think B would be, Daniel? Uh, the nucleus. Yes, very good. That's a nucleus. Remember, this is a single-celled organism. Okay, so this is its nucleus. So based on that, you could probably figure out what C is as well. If this is a single cell, what is C pointing to? This stuff. Basically, almost all of the filling of this amoeba, right? Cytoplasm? It's cytoplasm, yeah. And finally, D, these little extensions here. This should be an easy one, James. Pseudopod. Those are the pseudopods, yes. So that's an amoeba. Pseudopods. We'll catch up there. So what about this one? So what you'll want to look at to figure out which one this is, it's shaped like a shoe and has all these hairs all attached to the outside. So which protist is that? Ready? No. Anybody else? Maggie? Paramecium? This is a paramecium, correct. That helps you to remember? It looks like a shoe, right? Like a pair of shoes? Pair amecium? Um, like you would wear a pair of shoes? I mean, like, yeah, I was just trying to make a joke out, but I can't it. So. Oh, yeah, trying to think of amecium? Or All right. Um, okay, so if this is a paramecium, another group of protists, um, it moves around using these things, these little tiny hairs all around the outside. Does so anybody remember what we call those? Tiny little hairs. Wait. People can call them tiny little hairs. Yeah, but they have another name. Abby? Cilia. 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 Yeah, cilia. I don't know how to say it. It's okay. Cilia. They paddle it through the water. All right, now how about, what is this little indentation here? We talked about it yesterday. Remember what we call this sort of indentation? It's kind of like its mouth. It's called 
called the oral groove. Remember, that's how it gets to ingest food. It has this outer shell called a pellicle, so it has, a, has to have um, an opening, that oral groove, and at the bottom of the oral groove is this little tube called the gullet, it's like its throat. So food gets into this paramecium by traveling through the oral groove, the cilia kind of bring in those food particles, then it goes down the gullet. What do you think this is at the very end? It's not labeled in your drawing, but you can guess what it is. Ryan? Oh, that's a food vacuole. Yep, that the food goes into a food vacuole. Now D, D is the nucleus. Now, a paramecium actually has two nuclei. One's called a macronucleus, one's called a micronucleus. Because paramecium can actually exchange genetic material and reproduce sexually through a process called conjugation, when the micronucleus from one paramecium goes into the other paramecium and they're swapping some genetic material. It's a form of sexual reproduction. Um, will you have to remember the technique? No. All right, how about E? Basically, all this stuff. Eddie? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, correct. F is a way for waste to leave the paramecium. It's called the anal pore. And then the star shaped thing, shaped kind of like the sun. That's the contractile vacuole. Does anybody remember why that's important for this, these protists? Talked about it a little bit yesterday, Maya? Uh, it pumps out the excess water. Exactly, it pumps out excess water. Because where do these live? The water line? Yeah, in fresh water. So water's constantly moving into them. They need a way to get rid of it. It does that through this contractile vacuole. Blow, blow up, you said? Yeah, they can expand, blow up, rupture. All right, finally, our last protist. I don't remember the name of this one. No. What's that? No. No. Okay. Hannah? Flagellate. It is a flagellate, but um, it specifically is one type of flagellate. James? Euglena? Euglena. Yep, Euglena. So yeah, what is this, what is this tail it has here? It's not really a tail, it's actually in the front of it. It pulls it through the water. We call that thing. Abby? I don't know. Abby? Yeah, flagellum. That's the whip-like towel that pulls through the water. B is an organelle that's sensitive to light. Helps it to find out how to get towards the light so it can go through photosynthesis. Daniel? Uh, cytoplasm? Um, not for B. That's actually, it's not pointing to this, all this stuff. It's pointing to this dark area. Oh, sorry. That's okay. And it's sensitive to light. It's called the eye spot. Now, if this were in color, I should have had uh, organelle C colored in green. <coughs> so do you know what it is, Fallon? Chloroplasts. Those are the chloroplasts, correct. Because remember, the euglena can go through photosynthesis. It can capture sunlight and use it to produce its own food. How about D? Wait. It looks like a nucleus. That's because it is a nucleus, correct. And another one of these pumps 
to get rid of excess water. What do we call those? I don't know. Vacuoles. Uh, yeah, but a specific type. Can I give them both vacuoles. names? Bella? Contractile of vacuum. Yes. Good. All right, so those are the parts of these protists. On your quiz on Monday, you will have to label the parts. And your homework for tonight is going to be to draw these protists and label the parts as well. So